Oh, I got one of these off your best or bang god. It claims 250. Um, not going to be 250 because there is a 180 amp fuse. I'll touch that to the video. But the main thing is, how do you get this? Uh, so originally it was saying 248. And so here's the trick with this one. There's a variable resistor there on the board that then has a cable connecting to the light. And so you gotta take a screwdriver carefully while it's on. Obviously insulated, so if you slip, you don't screw things up, and you can just turn it. If you turn it uh, clockwise, the value goes down. And you can also turn it counterclockwise. So is it 248 when I got it? And look like, you know, that's 300 amps probably. But anyway, the main thing is, I'm just going to turn it down to like. 180 for now because I know from the fuse that that's the max. Actually, I think I was put it at 150. I need to go look at comments because someone actually measured what's like the real maximum. It's probably like 120. Let's see if we can screw it down to 120. I've got the knob in the position for like, yeah, there we go. But that's maximum. Now, if we do it to minimum, now minimum bottoms out at 8. Like the whole thing is that there is a coil um, in there that's reading and giving feedback to the control circuit, and I'm betting that that variable resistor is doing something with the control circuit, but mainly it's this variable resistor here on a small separate circuit board that's then driving the display. But the important thing down there to see, let me see the light on. Yeah, there we go. You see that? Um, 180A. And next to it on the PCB says FL1. FL would stand for fusible link. So we know right away that 180 is the maximum. And actually, like, 180 is what amperage that's going to melt at. So. Um, okay, and there, right there, is a current transformer. So it is, you know, measuring what current's actually going out and making an effort to keep it there. But this little board here that has the LED display is just receiving some, you know, probably voltage signal that that right there, that variable resistor on that board is trimming. And I noticed from, you know, so again, it's, this one, if you have a different one, I've noticed other photos of these small things. They also have various resistors. Like here, it's obvious because the cable from the LED display goes to that board. Um, I don't know what this variable resistor here does. And I'm not going to play with it because it's probably pretty important um, for like controlling the rest of the circuitry. Maybe someone could figure it out. Maybe even I could if I put in the time, and I don't think I will, but yeah. So hopefully this helps someone at least to adjust it to a realistic power because it kind of sucks for welding if, you know, you think like, okay, I need 80 amps, but okay, so it's probably like you need to set this on 160 and these sort of stupid things. But otherwise, I welded with it today and it worked fine.